There's a new destination to get your University of Hawaii gear. A ah, new Rain Boutique store opened in downtown Honolulu. This is the school's fourth store, and it can be found right in the heart of town. Well, we always say that UH Athletics is the front porch for the university. Well, that's, you know, Rain Boutique's the front step because uh, it's where you can get all your logo wear to show your pride in UH. Proceeds from sales at the Rain Boutique go directly to the school. The other locations are at the UH Manoa Bookstore, Stan Sheriff Center, and Ward Center. And you can get logo stuff for rainbows, rainbow warriors, rainbow wahine. And then you'll have it all covered. Absolutely. Former Rainbow Hoopster Anthony Carter will play an 11th season in the NBA. AC today re-signed with the Denver Nuggets, a one-year deal worth approximately $1.3 million. Denver head coach George Carl expressed his desire to the organization that he wanted to keep Carter in the fold. AC averaged 5.3 points and 4.7 assists in 22 minutes per game for the Nuggets last season. How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. One week into fall camp and now three weeks away from the season opener. The UH Warrior football team is in the thick of things as it tries to get prepared for its 09 debut September 4th against Central Arkansas. And it's kicking up a notch as players were introduced this week to two a days, two practice sessions in one day. The Warriors are feeling the effects. This is a time when you really have to push through practice. This is a, a daily doubles day, and, and this morning and this afternoon's practices, the 10th and 11th practice, are the toughest practices to get through. Right now, bodies are hurting, you know, just because, you know, the, the wear and tear of everyday practice, but, you know, you just got to push through it. That's the way you got to get better. You got to put your hard work in, you got to go through the grind and stuff, and that's the only way you can make it to the top. You got to find a way to, you know, get it done when you're not on your A game. So I think that's kind of, you look at these practices, we already have one, we're going to go come out again, guys are going to be tired, bang. Up. And even though you know guys aren't going to be at 100 percent, we got to find a way to perform and you know get completions, move the ball, and you know be efficient. Warriors will include an informal scrimmage in their workout tomorrow. Coaches are looking to start putting together a depth chart by Sunday. The Denver Nuggets say they're keeping former UH star Anthony Carter for his game and his character. Reportedly, Denver made AC a one-year deal worth $1.3 million last season as the backup point guard. Carter averaged 4.7 assists and almost 23 minutes of playing time. Next year, he enters his 11th season in the league and fourth with the Nuggets. UH receiver Javante Taylor is ready to go. In 2008, injury and illness kept the speedy wideout in the shadows. Now healthy, the junior is finally ready to start step into the spotlight. Mike Cherry has more. If it's true that speed kills, then UH receiver Javante Taylor could be a lethal weapon for the Hawaii football team this season. In 2007, as a freshman at Southwest College, Taylor was a state champion in the 100-meter dash, clocking in at a time of 10.3 seconds. We were out here doing an unsupervised summer workout, and someone, I think, clocked him unofficially at like a 4.3. I mean, he's fast. He could run. These guys could take you up top, so the corner and safety are running. Then that could open up plenty of things for the inside, you know. And he's, he's really fast, and it's, it's, nice, it's nice to have him out there. But Taylor wasn't satisfied with his speed. This summer, he returned to the track to get some added burn. You know what? You can you can never be fast enough. You know that's how I feel. You know, never be fast enough. I mean, I'm here to get faster, stronger, better with my hands, everything. This season, Taylor will step into a starter's role, replacing Malcolm Lane. At last fall's Warrior Bowl, Taylor gave a preview of what he can do, hauling in 135 yards on five catches. You know, that was just a taste. You know, that was just a little taste. They, they actually pulled me out early. You know, I was on Coach Lee like, Coach, put me back in there, put me back in. I'm just now getting started. You know. <laughs> Taylor says he's regained the 25 pounds that he lost after being sick last season, and none of it is slowing him down. Mike Cherry, KGMB9 Sports. Finally tonight, could Cole Brennan and singer Jessica Simpson be the new power couple in Hollywood? According to the National Ledger, they're an item. Port says Brennan sent Jessica tickets to a Redskins game and a jersey. The jersey would replace the one she wore, of course, with her former boyfriend, Cowboys quarterback, Tony Romo, mm. should it be true. I guess things didn't work out so well for them, huh? Yeah, well. Yeah. And they kind of throwing the curse on, of course, Colt because he didn't have a great game last night. Is Jessica's fault? Oh, it's All clearly kind of it's rumors. clearly her fault. Yeah. You're one week into this. The forward progress, good to you? I like the progress this team is making. Uh, we're getting better. Uh, the guys are doing what they're asked to be be doing. 
physically, are, are we ready? Are we up to speed? No, we're not. We're not ready. But thank God we have, you know, 21 more practices before we have to be ready. So, you know, we're, we're making progress. I th I'd say we're on track, but I don't want to say we're ready to play a game right now. UH football team has gone through eight days and ten practices of full camp so far. Three weeks from tonight, Warriors play their first game of the season. Tomorrow, for some, it gets kicked into full speed. Uh, tomorrow's practice is very important. We're, who we're going to scrimmage are our receivers, uh, running backs, and it's going to be a seven-on-seven seven scrimmage. So our linebackers and DBs, we want to see who tackles. We want to see who catches the ball under pressure. We're practicing full speed as an offensive line and defensive line, so we want we don't want to roll somebody up or that type of thing. So we're going to let the offensive and defensive line watch, and uh, we're going to have some fun with it. On Sunday, coaches will meet and start to develop their depth chart. A couple of former Warriors in NFL preseason played tonight, both for the 49ers. 53 is Jeff Ulbricht. He made one tackle versus the Broncos. He's in his 10th season, 90. That's Issa Anko Sopuanga in his sixth season with San Francisco. He made a stop, stuffing rookie Noshan Marino. Niners defeated Denver 17-16. to 